Located at the southwestern tip of Lake Superior, the Blotnick Bridge connects Superior, Wisconsin and Duluth, Minnesota. The bridge has stood the test of time and it's been an impressive fixture in the Twin Ports for more than six decades. More than 110,000 people live in these two communities, relying on this 8,000 foot bridge to get to work, school, businesses, and other destinations. Construction on the four-lane Blotnick Bridge, initially known as the High Bridge, began in 1958 next to the swinging toll bridge it would replace. The structure opened to traffic on December 2, 1961. The original design and construction cost $21 million. That is more than $2 billion when translated to $2028. Today, the Blotnick Bridge, which carries I-535 and Highway 53 traffic, provides safe passage for more than 33,000 vehicles per day over the St. Louis Bay. The structure also provides mobility for local, regional, national, and international commerce. The area immediately surrounding the Blotnick Bridge including Connors Point in Superior and Rice's Point in Duluth, is largely industrial and commercial. There is also a residential population on the Wisconsin side south of Highway 53. The Blotnick Bridge provides key access to the port of Duluth Superior, which is the largest port on the Great Lakes, the largest freight destination in Minnesota and Wisconsin, and the 17th largest port in the United States. The bridge, which is load posted for 80,000 pounds, can no longer accommodate oversized overweight loads, forcing those to either take the Bong Bridge or make a 160-mile detour. Jointly owned by Minnesota and Wisconsin, the Blotnick Bridge is nearing the end of its service life. The state's Departments of Transportation began planning in 2020 for its replacement. MnDOT, as the lead agency on the project, recognizes the significant impact from any unplanned closures or lane reductions on the Blotnick Bridge. Most notably, if nothing is done to address the bridge's deficiencies, the Blotnick is predicted to close in 2030. In 2023, the project team selected replacing the Blotnick Bridge on its existing alignment. This preferred alternative minimizes impacts to property and wetlands, provides shortest construction schedule, accommodates bicyclists and pedestrians, and is the lowest cost alternative. In January 2024, the project received a $1.05 billion federal grant through the U.S. Department of Transportation's INFRA program as part of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. Both states have also committed $400 million each toward the estimated $1.8 billion project. The design-build delivery method will be used for the Blotnick Bridge replacement. The MnDOT-WISDOT team will complete the preliminary design, then the project will be awarded to a design-build contractor and the selected contractor will complete the full design and build the bridge. During construction, this bridge project is anticipated to support 1,100 new jobs annually and an estimated 1.5 million to 1.75 million labor hours to complete the work. Creating opportunities for historically disadvantaged communities and worker safety will be two important focus areas. Major construction is anticipated to begin in 2026 and be completed by 2031. The structure is expected to be closed for most of the construction project. Construction will come with many challenges, including heavily contaminated soil throughout much of the project limits, a hostile climate, a volatile commodity market, a challenging labor market, as well as construction in a historically and culturally significant area. Native American tribes have also expressed interest in the project. Currently, teams are working on right-of-way acquisition and relocation of affected businesses. Field work in 2024 includes additional geotechnical investigations as well as a foundation optimization study. It is time to rebuild this vital link. The new Blotnick Bridge will not only reliably connect both states, but provide a safer route for commuters, emergency services, freight, and regional traffic.